Hello, Assalamu alaikum dear students and participants. Uh, today, we are going to start a class on linguistics. You know that linguistics is a very important and difficult subject for the, for the students of our third year under National University. So, dear students, our today's topic will be phonetics and phonology. Basically, you know that phonetics and phonology, two basic levels of linguistics, are concerned with the investigations, analysis, description, and exemplification of speech sounds. In other words, this level endeavor to examine different aspects and behaviors of speech sounds, such as their articulation, transmission, reception, realization, structuring for producing meaning, and so forth, and provide us with theoretical, <coughs> theoretical information and material necessary to understand the principles regulating the use of the sounds in the spoken form of a language. So every language has four basic skills, you know well, that listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And listening and speaking learn naturally in the natural setting are called the primary skills, uh, since language is primary speech, speech is produced by the speaker and received by the listener. However, the speech consisting of vocal sounds produced by human beings in, is related to varied factors. Some of the factors are dealt with in phonetics, while the others in phonology. Hence, phonetics and phonology help us have information and knowledge of the sounds as well as the sound system of language in general and or languages in particular. So, the current chapter is constituted of the discussion of several fundamental aspects of phonetics and phonology presented in 14 sections. Definition of phonetics, branches of phonetics, definition of phonology, differences between phonetics and phonology, phone, phoneme, allophone, so English vowel sound, English consonant sounds, strong weak forms, elision, assimilation, yeah, syllable, stress, tone, intonation, connotation. Thus, chapter terminates with three types of tasks designed to provide the readers with exercises of practical. Okay, so the participants, you know that we, uh, before going to discuss all of these uh, definition of phonetics, phonology, every branches of phonetics, phonology, articulations, phonetics. We firstly we uh, leaving this we would like to discuss only sounds. So, today we will discuss English sounds. You know that English vowel sounds, okay. You know that there are, you know that there are uh, 44, vowel, uh, 44 sounds in English standard according to IPA standard. You know that 44 vowels, uh, 44 sounds among which only 20 vowel sounds and 24 are consonant sounds. So, today we are going to start our vowel sounds along with its monophthong, diphthong, and triphthong. So, any student from any corner and any subject can enjoy this class to improve their speaking skill and pronunciation. So, this you may call it as pronunciation class. So, just enjoy and stay connected with me as long as the class will be helped. So, okay. Your part uh, so, you know that every language produces well, vowel sounds that, that play an inevitable role in Producing a speech vowel is one of the two general categories used for the classification of speech sounds. This type of sound is articulated with the ear from the lungs passing through the vibrating glottis and the vocal tract without any interruption. This is vowel sounds. So there is the speech sounds that are produced without any obstacles in the vocal tract are called vowels. Okay, so this is the difference uh, from uh, consonant sounds. So here no obstacles at the time of uttering the word in our vocal tract. So, however, vowels can be defined in terms of both phonetics and phonology. But now we are going to start our uh, main topic then monophthongs, diphthongs, and triphthongs. You know that we have only 20 vowel sounds, but monophthongs and diphthongs are that vowel sounds. But what is uh, what are the triphthongs? Triphthongs basically is the combination of monophthongs, I mean pure vowels. So here you can uh, in, in triphthongs you can get uh, three monophthongs. Uh, actually, this is the combination. This is the combination combination okay so just is it okay it is okay so okay so first of all we should know about monophthong you know that monophthong is what is monophthong monophthong is a term used in phonetic classification of vowel sounds on the basis of their manner of articulation simple simple and uh, pure vowel articulation without any obstacle in our vocal tract. 
So on the other hand, what is diphthong? Diphthong, this is a speech sound that is usually considered as one distinctive vowel of a particular language. But in fact, it involves two pure vowels or monophthongs. Okay. So you can do it a pure vowels. Or that you can get a monophthong as a do the monophthong mille acta diphthong. At the same time, each of each of uh, some complex vowels is found to be made up of three monophthongs. So that is very easily we can say that a combination of three pure vowels. I mean here the combination of three monophthongs. Yeah. So two monophthongs is called diphthongs and three monophthongs uh, combinedly when combinedly used here is this called triphthongs. So, okay. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, introduce uh, about the symbol. You know that when you see that two slash two slash I have to long it so here two slash means short symbol and when a colon is used uh, inside or between two slash that is called long symbol okay so this is long symbol so okay uh, now now we are going to discuss the monophthongs diphthongs and triphthongs okay monophthongs diphthongs and triphthongs plural so you know that there are how many monophthongs? 12 monophthongs. We have 12 monophthongs in English according to IPR, I mean International Phonetic Alphabet System. Okay. So here is the short, short monophthongs and this is the long monophthongs. I mean long vowels and short vowels sound. These are the sound also. So short vowel sound and long vowel sound. How can, how can I, can we uh, guess that this is short and long? Symbol says that this is short and this is long. Okay, sister. So this is short monophthongs. So number one, I mean, it pronounces uh, like a very shortly, like a uh, uh, lip, tip, lip, tip, uh, bit. This very short, lip, tip, bit, drip cheap okay hit cheap hill uh mill hill like this uh sorry ship eat sin eat sin 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 and hill hill these are one of yeah short e short so okay now let us talk about a a sound i mean pen pen gat Pan tan gat, okay, and man. Pan tan gat man. So this is very short a, and a, uh, I mean a, uh, a, uh, like man. Sad. Man. Sad. Uh, pan. Okay. So short a, uh, short a, uh, I mean cut not but okay this short up short u i mean book hook cook look cook 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 book cook cook or that book hook cook okay so uh, this is o sound i mean dock fork uh lock okay so this is a sound, a sound. So, uh, I go, I go, and today, this is a sound. So again, you see that here, e lip tip beat sin hill. Here a pan tan got man. Here a man sad pan. Here shot or cut, cut 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 so cut not but okay who book hook cook book cook cook okay dog the go dog go park go lock okay a a go o go to they okay so now long vowels you know that long vowels only five long vowels according to ip system so this is long vowel like long e i mean Keep, keep, okay, bean, these are long, long e, 
long e i mean eat i mean sheep so this long e so now long a uh, i mean bird cart long o i mean load load coat okay and short so now this is long a uh, i mean girl girl bird okay sorry bird and long u i mean pool cold okay it's long u so long e long a uh, long o long a uh, long u this is called long vowel sound so now diphthongs you know that two monophthongs combinedly used here so a i o e a e a e a o o u a o so here first symbol shows that the pronunciation will be diphthongs e a so e a i mean sorry e a na it would say a a and e short a i mean we can write that may say may say and lay and i such as hi toy cry oi such as boy toy joy and ear such as dear dear and ear 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 so ekhane ekta bishoy janar ache je r er je uchcharon ta r er uchcharon ta british ebong american er moddhe ektu parthokko r er uchcharon ta british american e hoy purotai ar bishe half othoba ujjo thake so you can call it as a dear ear like a father mother this is american and if you pronounce it according to ipa i mean and british way that father mother like dear ear ear here okay so this is and air air means like air sorry air like care air care so this is air now ua like poor uh, commonly we use it as poor but the right pronunciation will be poor uh, we use uh, we, we use uh, often that sure but it isn't wrong the correct pronunciation will be sure okay sure so i'm sure okay how oh, funny so next one next one is uh ooh. sorry uh, i have uh, i have been mistaken ekta bhul hoye geche so ua ua pronunciation will be here ua so poor sure this is ua ua and this is o o i mean so no go like home okay like home so this is home and also so now go home okay and ua poor sure and ao ao sound is uh, like how and cow how cow now so these are diphthongs again a may say lay i hi toy cry oi boy toy joy ear dear ear air air care o home so no ua poor sure and ao how cow and now okay so three tongues you know that three pure vowels combinedly used to hear that is why it is called trip talks so trip talks you know that uh it, it can be defined as a combination of three pure vowels or monophthongs in which the first one glides into the second one prothom ta ditiyo ta diye dhakka kabe uchcharon so it a gliding ache gliding mane hocche ekta arekta gaye lege thaka ei rokom uchcharon ta arekta gaye achre pore seta ke bola hocche 
So combination of three pure vowel sermonophthongs in which the first one glides into the second one and then the second one preceded by the first one glides into the third one. So okay, let's start. Aya. So Aya, I mean player. Player. Layer, uh, like prayer. Okay, prayer. So now uh, this is aya. Aya mean liar, fire, liar, fire, tire, etc. So this is oya. I mean loyal, royal. Okay, and this is. Uh, this is called o owa owa okay owa owa mean low uh, low lawyer lower lower okay lower mower and and uh, slower okay and finally directly our i like our our and tower shower okay power these are three tongues so dear participants already we have gone through rip tongues trip tongues and monopton rip tongue and trip tongues so perhaps you have enjoyed this class much and in the next we will discuss on english consonant sounds and you know that consonants are one of the two general categories used for uh for for the classification of speech sounds the other being vowels that can be defined in terms of both phonetics and phonology. So we will know about uh, 24 consonant sounds and their articulation of consonants, places of articulation, biblical, uh, bi bilabial, bilabial consonant, uh, labiodental consonant, interdental consonant, alveolar consonant, post-alveolar consonant, palatal alveolar consonant, palatal uh, consonant, velar consonant, uh, glottal consonant, so many so manners of articulation of consonants in this class you will know so plosive fricative appricative nasal trill roll or tap lateral and approximants of a free free frictionless con continuance so lines and produce so many things you will get in the next class on uh, uh, the class on english consonant sounds 24 consonant sounds students uh, know what today perhaps you have enjoyed much in today's class and if you practice uh, these vowel sounds uh, staying at your home or if you are with your colleagues with your friends with your uh, classmates with your neighbors then you will be a fluent speaker and your english will be much more better than previous time so now more today perhaps uh, uh, already we have passed uh, 20 minutes so now more today and we'll meet and uh, we'll uh, conduct another class on the sounds English sounds and this is actually according to the standard of IP system so don't miss the class and uh, stay connected with us so no more today bye bye and Allah peace